Hello guys, this is Creative Mary with another video. So guys, this is a piece of fabric and I thought about trying to play around with coloring textiles. So I bought myself some jacquard hangings, something like that. As you can see. So I want to paint. This is totally freehand, guys. I mean, I don't know. I'm thinking about painting something floral. I don't know exactly what I'll be painting, but I I know that I want to be I want it to be something with a flower base thing. So I've put myself some white on a plate and some colorless extender. Let me show you what's that all about. I know that you can dilute your paints with uh, water or you can use this colorless extender. It's something to dilute color but also to I don't know, I have more, much more quality, uh, a color mixed with colorless extender rather than water. So, I don't know, let's start, I guess. I don't know if this brush that I've chosen is good. I think I'll just build a background for this floral scene that I want to do. So yeah, it's very smooth. It's a bit difficult for me, but not as difficult as I would have thought. I'm a painter and I this is my first time, guys, painting on fabric. So it's really exciting. I mean, I don't know. I I think that it's good to think of of this like a canvas. This is a canvas and I think I'll make a shape like this. I think I'll make like um a curly, curly thing that will hold a garden of flowers. Yeah, something like that. Guys, this is totally spontane. So I don't know how this design will end up. And this is quite exciting. First, if I would be honest, you guys I I didn't want to record this I was like hmm, I want to paint a fabric but I'm not quite sure I want to make a video about it because well I'm a beginner at painting materials and fabrics and I don't know how that would work but Surprisingly, it works pretty good. I mean, hmm, I didn't thought it would be so easy, guys. So, the color is really smooth. I think I'll, I'll stop here. It's, it's really, really nice. I think that the, the idea behind this is that I think I noticed a bit of it's not fully entering the material so I have to press with my brush in order to make it uh, enter so yeah that's that's a bit challenging. I'm, I'm used with paper and 
when I put color on paper, oh well, it takes it. But here I'm a bit... Um, I would like when I, uh, when I make these lines to see how, uh, how the material goes completely in the, the, sorry, the paint goes completely in the material, but it doesn't happen, but I'll give it time. Uh, I don't know how did I do this, guys. Um, not quite my idea, but well, some swirls. Oh no, I want to see it flower based thing. And it's really, really nice. Um, I saw a tutorial where that, that someone said that if you want your colors to really pop, you should add a white base. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing now. I'm going to make some dots. Um, this is quite fun, actually. I'm surprised I didn't try it before, I don't know. But it's never too late. I'm pretty sure that now you are in quarantine because of the virus. Well, at least I am. <laughs> I'm not sick or something, but uh, everybody recommends to sit inside the house, not to go out, um, to take precaution measures. So I thought to myself that it would be nice to uh, learn a new skill. So I'm going to take um, pink and I'm a bit odd. I I notice places where the paint isn't fully in the material. Maybe I'm just perfectionist. Okay, so I'm going to take some pink. I'm going to put it on my plate and I'm going to start I don't know I think I would put um, a number of colors on my plate yeah I think I'll do that I'll put some orange that's nice some orange uh, what else I think some yellow the flowers. Oh, this is a mess. I'm only working with one brush because I'm lazy and I don't want to change my brushes. So, okay, I'm gonna put yellow, orange, the orange, mm, and I think I'll put a bit of purple, violet, violet. And let's see what we can do with that. Okay, this is exciting. It's not as difficult as I would have thought. Um, I want to try to do designs on t-shirts, but I was like, mm, I should better try on a smaller piece of fabric. So here we go, guys. Uh, let's make a little tipsy flower. Okay, yeah, I I can see that color popping. Alrighty, hmm, this looks nice. I like it. Hmm. So yeah, now I can realize why they said that um, if you don't apply a white um base to your colors they won't stand out 
so I can see that now it's really hmm, it's a bit more liquidish I don't know okay first flower let's make let's make cute swirls around it something like that Nice. This is completely spontaneous, guys. <laughs> okay. It looks nice. I have to wipe my brush. Let's go into the pink and make another one. Oh. Well, the pink really looks nice. Well, I think this will be a very long video, guys. <laughs> because it's quite time consuming to make little flowers, little. And I think that in the middle I'll be putting yellow because it would be a nice contrast. Hmm? Don't you think? Yeah, a bit of yellow. actually painting but I'm really curious about how it will look when I'll try to wash it <laughs> mm, so maybe I'll put a little pink here actually I know I said I'll put yellow but maybe I'll put yellow too see this is what happens when you decide to make a video and you don't have a design and you do it like la 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 okay so another another flower I'll make a bigger one an orange flower G gigantic flower flower zilla <laughs> okay mm. I don't know I could I don't like this oh, maybe I like this yeah, something like that. Hmm. Nice. I like it. I think that now with this coronavirus, I think uh, maybe in every situation or well, there is a good thing and a bad thing and the good thing from this uh, this unfortunate pandemic is that we can sit inside our houses but we can choose what to do with our time I mean I rather do this than I don't know to hold my phone and uh, I see people watching the statistics like every hour every I don't want to know I don't know maybe it sounds foolish of me but it's really so much panic that I I just don't want to be a part of it and I don't know I just want to be okay so yeah, I hope that um, hmm, it's, it starts to look nice, guys, and I like that. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. So it's just like painting, guys, only that. Uh, you're doing it on a fabric and it's actually mm, I, I don't know I like it I really like it I think I could sit for hours to 
to make a design. I don't know how it will be with eye running stuff. I think I should watch some videos <laughs> before I ha or I, uh, anyway I have to sit like 24 hours to let it dry from what I've read. So that gives me a plenty of time to to see how is the drying process. Yeah. Okay, this looks interesting. Let's continue. Hmm. I like how it looks. It's pretty simple. I don't know why did I choose to make this, I don't know, shape. I don't know what kind of shape is this, but it's a flower holding shape. Yep. <laughs> oh god, I talk so much. Um, I want to see, I have a color that I bought from Jacquard called a sparkle, a super sparkle, sorry, and I'm so, so curious about it. I, I might use it now, I don't know. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna put some orange on this flower. This is really simple, guys. I mean, I'm, um, I'm used with painting a lot of complicated things. I mean, if you if you check my links, you can see that I do pretty complicated art. But for drawing on a material, I. I think I'm gonna keep it simple. So yeah. Just really it's so funny, I'm so surprised now and you can see because I this is the first time I'm doing this on fabric. So seeing my art on paper is one thing, but Seeing it on a fabric is another and that's why I'm so like surprised, so bedazzled, so oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Just try it guys, if you're a painter and you, um, you want to try something new while you are isolated? Try painting on fabric. It will really, um, I don't know, make you feel a bit different. So yeah, I'm taking the yellow and orange and everything that I had on the brush and slowly putting it here. It's really fun and interesting. So yeah. So awesome. I'm I'm curious about how how will this color look once I will try to wash this. I'll try to wash this after I dry it and see now they look i don't know how it's on your on monitor but they look pretty very intense very saturated so um oh i mixed purple with the yellow god why would you do that okay so i think i'm gonna make some dots here and there. I have a thing with dots, guys. I mean, I'm a pointillist artist, so there is no artwork without dots. There is one thing I cannot contain myself. It's like, I want to make a drawing or I want to draw so, uh, 
my previous recording has stopped and now I'm on the second part of drawing this. Um, so I'm now making dots. I think I'm gonna uh, add some, some of the dots inside the flowers as well. really nice. It's a really nice design. Um, hmm, let me think what shall I do next. I think I'm gonna do some contouring. Yeah, something like that. This looks interesting. So I mixed yellow with violet and this is what this is how it looks Ooh, I start to enjoy it mm. really nice okay what should I do? What should I do? I think I should put some yellow here on top of everything or maybe just a bit um, really really nice. I'm so surprised by the process. It's like <laughs> I expected fabric painting to be something really difficult, but it's not, so it's actually very interesting to paint so many little flowers, and it's really fun, I mean, therapeutic actually, and I cannot contain myself with dots, 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 dots. So, I think I'll try to make maybe next time a portrait or something like that. I think that would be really fun to make a portrait. Hmm, I think I'll take some pink. Let me wipe my brush because I'm lazy and I'm only using one brush to do this. So, um, let me do this. Okay, something like that. I want to, hmm, yeah, okay, it looks nice. I can see the difference guys, if I paint pink outside the white contour, it looks it looks dirty. So always apply white if you want your colors to pop. If you don't do that, um, well you won't like it that much actually. <laughs> So yeah, I don't know, what could this shape be? It looks like a heart, it looks like, um, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna make dots, pink dots, and this is too thick, okay. Something like that. Hmm, interesting. Abstract garden of flowers. I'm gonna make some pink here. Hmm. This is really nice. I think that it would need a pop of blue. I think I will put blue inside of these dots. I'm not quite sure, but I think I'm gonna do that. 
suppose it would look, I don't know, more contrast, more, I, as I told you I'm a pointillist artist and I only use black ink and paper and that's it. But when I paint with colors, I tend to go very colorful. I mean, I, I don't know, it's a, I think it's my trademark to be really colorful. And not only that, but I love contrast. I love to do things which are contrasting, so yeah. This, uh, this starts to look nice, guys. Uh, for something done spontaneously, I think it's actually quite nice. Um, so yeah, something like that. Hmm. Okay, alrighty. I feel that it needs more flowers. What do you think, guys? No, a bit more orangey flowers and smaller ones. And I think I won't fill them out. I think that I will leave them blank because I would love to fill them with blue? Hmm? What do you think? Or maybe with the yellow? I don't know. Hmm. I th I'm really happy that I decided to film this uh, because I think I'll have a lot of fun when I'll process this video looking at my oh at my drawing process. So yeah. Okay. So we're starting to get somewhere. Mm. So I'll take a bit of blue. I think I'll take this sky blue and add some. Uh, just so you know, I've put quite, let me show you, this is how much color I've put on my plate and I'm not going to use it all, so next time use, I put less color than too much because it's very fluid and despite the fact that it doesn't it didn't seem to quite absorb at the beginning it does so that's a lesson learned guys to not put more than you need so I love the blue I think it really adds up a bit of vibrancy to this um, yeah, really nice. Really, really nice. I think I'll add some drops of blue here. Um, yeah, I think it suits. What do you think? Oh yeah, it looks good. So we can do that. Really, really nice. I think I'm gonna write flower power. Uh, should I do handwriting? No, I think I'm gonna stick to classic flower. Flower, power. Mm. Wow, wow, wow. Love the blue. It's 
really nice. Or flower love. I think flower love. Guys, I've changed my mind like a million times <laughs> during this video. Flower love. Yeah, I think it's better. Flower love. Maybe a bit more contouring. Let's put some blue dots in here, downstairs. It's not so difficult, guys. So, you should totally order yourself some paints and start doing this at home. It will make time pass by, like so fast. I mean, look at me. I've been doing this design for almost 40 minutes and it's just some flower stuff and it's not so wow. But yeah, mm, I think I'm gonna do that. I should do some blue around the flowers. Hmm. Yeah, pretty interesting. Pretty nice. I've put my color extender, but I didn't use it guys I mean I don't know it's just I didn't know well, I'm, I didn't know I wouldn't need it so I'll put some orange dots in here I would love to explain the design but I don't know what what I do hmm. so see I love dots I love doing dot work and I think that dot work really gives another vibe to your art. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. So, I think I'll do some orange to put next to my writing in a form of dots, of course. Flower, love, flower, power, flower, everything. Mm, yep. That's so funny looking. I like it. It's really, really nice. Mm. I will let you know how it behaves after I have to wait for this 24 hours to let it dry but I will tell you I think I'll use more of the white to do something next to the I'm 
I wouldn't like to waste it. So I think I'm just going to extend my design. Next time it would be better to think about it before doing it because my first mistake here was putting too much color on my plate and as an artist I don't like to waste colors so I'm going to make something out of it I don't know exactly what but we are getting there I've put this piece of fabric on a cookie thing <laughs> so I'm getting really creative with improvising guys I think that after this I will make a t-shirt design and I have a pair of um, of spring flats I think that's how we call them um, and I'd love to paint them. Okay, now I'm using my colorless extender and I'm mixing it with my white. Let me see. I'm mixing it with my white. Um, that I'd love to paint that too. Uh, I saw a brand of um, of paints, Angela's, Angela's paints, but those are for leather, and I would really try, not now, but someday, um, to paint on a backpack, or, I don't know, to, to try it on leather, I've heard that a lot of people try to customize their leather products so I think I'd like to do that okay so I'm almost finishing the white so yeah I don't know what I'll do that what I'll try to use all my color guides <laughs> because I would I would hate it to have them wasted on the plate. I mean, I can't, I can't have that. Sorry. So yeah, I'm just dragging it here. This colorless thing proved, and now I'm mixing the white with the blue and I have a pastel thing going on here hmm, okay hmm. I think I need more white oh god <laughs> oh god uh, yeah so I'm putting more white here I don't know if I'm doing this wrong but I just placed it on the fabric and just went along with it something like that I don't know if it's right I don't know if it's wrong I'm just doing it because it's much more faster than putting the white on my plate and then taking it from my plate and putting it on the fabric and blah 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 and something like this I'm trying to extend my white beyond the border of the fabric just so it wouldn't look weird okay so yeah So, 
this is what I've been doing. I've put some white here, I've put orange, I've put all the colors that I have left. But I don't know, I don't like the shape guys, so I think I'm gonna put some white and transform it into a heart. Yeah, I know. I know, I know, I know. I think that a heart would look much better than whatever alien shape I've decided to do <laughs> prior to this. No. So I think I'll do this. Add my white. And I'll I'll color it like a heart. Yeah, that's that's what I'll do. That's that's difficult when you don't have a design and you make an a uh, spontane design, that's what happens. You would improve it and improve it and improve it and improve it until I don't know, you just keep on improving it until you get tired or your camera from you know, your battery from your camera dies or something like that. <laughs> I'll definitely have a lot of fun watching this. So I'll take a red, I'll red uh, I'll take true red. So let's see how true red looks like. Oh, pretty intense. I'll put a little dab. I learned my lesson. I won't be putting lots of color so I wouldn't waste it. And I'm going to paint. Yep, I'm going to paint it on top of the white. Unfortunately, it transforms into a pink. Mm. I think I've applied too much white and I didn't pat it through how I was supposed to be doing it so that's why my true red ain't red after all <laughs> okay guys I'm trying to do the best that I can here so I'm taking my true red and I'm tracing this I think I'll make a swirl of red through the material. Yeah. Something like this. So it wouldn't be odd looking. So we'll take more red and place it on the plate. Now it starts to look more decent. As you can see guys I'm pretty picky and when it comes to art I'm like So yeah, something like this, guys. So that's what I wanted. So really nice red heart. look nice okay I like it so I'll take red from here put it here oops, oops. 
something like that. Yep. See here how this is better than what I had? What I had was some abstract blah 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 blah. And what I have now is uh, really looking like a heart. So, yep. <laughs> much, much better. I don't want to cover everything with red. I just want that splash of color. from here. Now I am happy with the design. I wasn't before. Now I am much better. Yep. Like this. So much better. So now we make little swirls. Swirly, swirly, swirly. And I will fill this flower which I said I will be filling with yellow I will fill them with red because it just looks better so yeah almost done I will put a little dab of red here a little dab here We're almost through. Really nice. I think I'll be making more videos like this. It's really nice and fun and relaxing. Okay. So I don't feel the need to add anything more actually. I think I'm pretty good the way I am. Maybe a bit of red here through the petals. Yeah. You gotta use the colors. Bit of red here. And a bit of red here. So, okay, guys. So, maybe a bit of dots here. God, I'm going to stop now. See, that's my problem. That's the problem of a pointillist artist. It's like you can never have enough dots. Never. Oh, I think I know it, why I wanted to do hearts, because there are little hearts here, and who knows, no. Okay. So guys, let me know in the comments how much you enjoyed this. Uh, try it out. Oh, you can do this. You can totally do this. It's super easy. And um, oh, I'll come back with other videos like this if you like them. And uh, have a lovely day. To the loop.